What's going on, everybody? Mark here, Key Basketball Training. Just left the gym. Want to jump on here? Quick message. Had a workout this morning, 10:30, with two high major Division One players. I'll tag them on here, and then did a similar workout tonight with some middle school, high school kids. Some things just jumped out, jumped out when I left the gym. Number one, the attention to detail. Number two, the willingness to actually learn something. And then the three, the mindset of when I walk in and step into a gym, you know, I'm there ready for a job. I'm there ready to work. And you get in, you get out, do what you need to do, be very smart with your time, and do whatever you want after. The kids today don't have, in my opinion, not all of them, but the majority. I train a lot of kids. I see a lot of kids. So I have some credibility in this space that they just don't, one, have the attention to detail. They do not have the willingness to learn, especially something that they can't do. Kids can't do something that's it's a wrap. I don't want to do this no more. It's, it's stupid, right? That's the first thing that kids say is if they can't understand it, they can't do it, they just, that's it. I'm done. I'm not going to use this in my game or whatever. I'm not going to go work at it. And then coming in with that mindset of I've got to be really productive with my time. Now, it starts with many things. It starts with the kid. It starts with the parents. You know, for me, I think parents just need to worry more about what are you learning in practices and workouts and games as opposed to how many points did you score? How much playing time did you get? You know, what did you do good? Whatever it is. You know, we need to get back to the learning aspect of it. At all ages. You know, my son goes plays soccer. He's six years old. He plays soccer. All I care about is he learning. Couldn't care how many goals he scores and all that stuff. It's just we gotta get we we personally need to get back to that as a basketball culture in, in San Antonio. And then us as trainers as well. We have to teach more. We have to dummy down our workouts a little bit. Not everything has to be so flashy and flary and gimmicky. Just get back to, you know, basics, fundamentals of basketball, and then the simplicity. I'm all about that. Again, being from Europe, having a great foundation at a young age, I think that's what we need to continue to work on. But for me, what jumped out the most is the difference between the two workouts today. I'm not even talking about the level, the level of it. Of course, two kids, Division I, high major kids, going to be pros. Of course, they're going to look better in a workout. I'm not even going to get into that. What I'm really was was a little disappointed was is the again the attention to detail the willingness to learn the attention span is it just they're not willing to learn if it's something that they can't do um and then just the mindset going in it starts with trainers it starts with obviously the kids and the parents you know you getting in for a workout for an hour it's not a lot of time you got to be really careful with your time just interesting, something to put out there. Again, I'm not trying to be negative, not trying to bash it. it you know, this, this happens all over the country. But I think it's a good conversation to have with your kids, with your trainers, with your coaches, and just get just getting back to that. I think that will really help San Antonio basketball grow, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. See you guys in the gym.